Okay, so in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can, as a developer, how you can run a local host setup across multiple machines. So if you're developing on a website on your laptop and on your home PC or your desktop, how you can synchronize the files across both so they're always in real time. We're going to do this in two stages. We're going to do this for the actual website files themselves, and we're also going to do this for the database. So the very first thing you'll need to do is you'll need to get a copy of Dropbox. You can sign up either using the link below or you can use go to dropbox.com, create a free account. The benefit if you use the link below, you get a free 500 megabytes if you haven't got an account yet. If you've already got your Dropbox account, then all you simply need to do is create a folder in Dropbox. So we're going to do that now. I'm going to open up my hard drive. And within Dropbox, we're just going to create, and I've done it here, it's called server. So I've just created a new folder called server. And in here, I have two folders which I've created. One is called websites, and one is called MySQL. Now, just create those and leave them there. That's all you need to do with Dropbox at the moment. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go across and download MAMP. Now I'm on a Mac. If you're on Windows, then you'll need WAMP, and you'll need a different tutorial to this. It's slightly different. So this is for a Mac only. If you're on a Mac, then download MAMP. Once that's installed, you can activate it. You'll have this little box come up here. It tells you that your server and your MySQL server are both running. Now what we need to do is we need to tell MAMP where the files are in Dropbox. To do that, we need to do two things. Firstly, to tell it where the actual website files are, very, very simple. We'll click on preferences and then Apache select now from here in Dropbox we can choose our server and we can just click the websites folder and we can open we OK this this will restart the server and what this now means is that once this is done if we click on uh, localhost this will load all of our websites within that folder so as we can see here, here is a list of all the folders which I have. And as you can see, when I'm in the websites folder of Dropbox, these are all of those same folders. So that's where your files are kept. What we now need to do is we need to link this, uh, link the databases so that once the websites are open, the databases are also synced. To do that, what we're going to do, we're going to open our launch pad and we're going to open up a terminal. So we're going to open up a terminal. And from here, we're going to type in two commands. The very first command is we need to move to the directory, which is applications MAMP database. So to find this, if you go into your finder, whilst you're within your finder, if you go to your applications, here we're looking for the MAMP folder. And within the MAMP folder, we're looking for DB. Now in here, there are going to be two folders. There's going to be a MySQL and an SQLite. Copy the contents of the MySQL into your Dropbox folder. So on Dropbox, if you remember, we had... In Dropbox, we had server, and we created websites and MySQL. So your websites, when I click on here, this is where all of our websites are. In MySQL, this is where the databases are. So this is a new install. There should be nothing in there. What we then need to do, going back to the Applications MAMP Database or DB folder, we need to delete delete this MySQL. So it's no longer here. So we're going to delete MySQL. I'll do that now. What we now need to do is we need to go to the directory cd applications mamp db we do that from terminal once there we need to enter the following two lines of code and i'm going to put this in the description for you as well which is ln hyphen s and then we need to move to username dropbox server mysql and then mysql this is creating a redirect as you can see here it's created an alias and this will now link us to the dropbox databases and that's it, we're done. What you now need to do is repeat this process on another machine, and what will happen is when, when Dropbox syncs, it will sync the databases and the website files, so you're now working across multiple computers with the same website, which are working in a local host environment.